Hey, what's going on, you beautiful people? My name's Tardai, and I hope you guys are having a pretty awesome day today. My day's been pretty awesome so far. So lately, I've been getting a lot of comments asking what kind of equipment I use for making these videos, and considering in my last setup video, I completely skipped over all of this, I thought I could dedicate a whole video talking about the stuff that I use to make these videos possible. Now, first off, I'm gonna talk about my computer and what build I'm rocking right now. So first off, my graphics card is a GTX 970 PNY build. This thing is absolutely beautiful. I just upgraded to this a couple months ago and ever since then my gaming quality has just gone up super super high I love this card. I'd highly recommend it and even though the 10 series has come out the 970 is still a fantastic card Another thing I recently updated is the amount of RAM I have so I have 16 gigabytes of memory and is the course air vengeance now 8 gigabytes is what I was rocking for the past three years or so and 8 gigs is more than enough But just because I'm going into game design for school I thought it'd be a great idea to upgrade my RAM in 16 gigs is also something that is fantastic Fantastic, and another thing that I would recommend. As far as actual hard drive memory goes, I've been using two terabytes for the past three years, and I know it's nice to have multiple hard drives, but I've been using two terabytes, the same two terabytes for the past three years, like I said, and I've only used up about one, maybe a little bit more than one of those terabytes. It is a lot of space, and even though I'm doing a lot of video editing, I've only chunked down my first terabyte, so maybe I'll get another hard drive in the future, but for those of you who are looking to build computers, two is plenty for a very long time. The current processor that I'm using is the Intel i7-4770K, now this is the processor that I've always been using, I've never bothered to change it, just because this one has always been great, the i7 does work phenomenally, and considering it is a quad core hyper threaded to 8 cores, it is going to be lasting me a very long time. The power supply I'm using is an XFX build, and it has 650 watts, to be honest there's not a lot to talk about here, as long as it's powering everything that is great, but that being said, I do remember a time where I tried to overclock my old graphics card, and I ran out of power, so another thing to keep in mind is I'll Always have enough power for your build or you're gonna blue screen your computer like I did finally my computer is rocking an MSI military grade motherboard to be honest I don't know the exact model but as long as everything fits into it and it's working I'm not complaining here so once again an MSI military motherboard now onto the accessories for the mouse and keyboard my mouse is a Razer Epic Naga Chroma now this is the perfect mouse for anyone who's addicted to League of Legends like I am because the thumb has 12 buttons on it why you need 12 buttons on your thumb I don't really know but it also glows and changes different colors which is pretty badass. The keyboard I'm using is the Corsair Vengeance K70 and has red cherry MX keys and this is awesome because whenever I do a tutorial you can hear me clickety clack all the keys. Another thing I recently upgraded is the amount of monitors that I have. So now I have two monitors that are 23 inches and they are an Asus build with a 2 millisecond response time and for my middle monitor I have one 24 inch monitor by Siaiki and that's also 2 millisecond response time. Moving on to audio equipment, the mic that I'm currently using is the Audio Technica AT2020 Audio Con Denser microphone with a pop filter to filter out some of those pops with the P's and tops with the T's and it's all set up on a nice scissor jack mic stand. And finally the headset is a Logitech G930 wireless headset. I've always been a sucker for wireless headsets. I cannot use wired ones for the life of me so if you ever have any cool wireless head tests to recommend I'd love to see them. This one for me right now is working perfectly fine but if I'm ever going to upgrade I'd love to see what's out there. And for the final part let's move on to the software. So speaking of audio the audio software that I'm currently using to record all of my audio is Audacity. Now this is a free audio software for both Windows and Mac. It works perfectly fine for editing audio, getting rid of background noises, making your voice sound a little more vibrant, and all in all, if it's free, there is no downside to using this thing. For video editing, I've always used Sony Vegas. Ever since Sony Vegas 9, I've been in love with these series of editing softwares. I'm currently using 12 for all of my videos, but I've been using this brand of software for the past six years or so. I would highly recommend it. It is kind of a staple for a lot of YouTubers out there, and it's just one of those softwares that once you learn how to use it, it is so, so beneficial to all of your videos. For motion graphics, such as my intro and my moving watermark, I like to use Adobe After Effects. Now, this is a bit more of a harder program to wrap your head around, but once you get used to it, it is kind of simple and things sort of translate to different sides of the program. Everything's pretty universal within Adobe softwares, and this is no exception. This program's great because it really is super flexible when it comes to video editing, and like I said, there's a lot of motion graphic things that you can do as well. As expected, for image editing, I'm a huge fan of Photoshop. 
Photoshop. A lot of people are going to be using Photoshop. It is the industry standard and all in all, it's not too hard to pick up. Within about two weeks, you should be pretty comfortable with the program and if you've never tried it out, I would highly recommend doing so. Moving on to the programs that I use for modeling, I use both Maya and Cinema 4D. Now Cinema 4D is something I use more for landscapes and I haven't touched that in a while and Maya is something I use for more game assets and character creation, stuff along those lines. Now I have made a video in the past comparing the two, if you want to check that out, there will be a link on screen right now and in the description if you're on mobile. Now both of these programs are fantastic for making 3D assets, both of them have their own little niche things that make them better, but Maya is free if you are a student, so I would highly recommend checking that one out if you haven't tried any 3D editing softwares yet. Once I have some models made and I want to texture, the texture programs that I use are Substance Painter and 3D Coat. Now neither of these are better than the other, but Substance Painter is better for 3D texturing that are more realistic and have some shine to it, but if you want something that's more hand painted, 3D Coat is definitely the way to go. And finally, if I'm not rendering within a program such as Maya, Cinema 4D, or Substance Painter, I will be rendering within the external renderer known as Keyshot. And other than that guys, those are all the programs and equipment pieces that I use in my setup. If I left anything out of this video or you're curious about anything in my setup, make sure to leave a comment down below. A like on this video would also be amazing and a subscription would help me out so, so much. But once again, guys, thank you for watching. Hopefully you learned something and my name has been Tie-Dye and I will catch you in the next video. See ya.